Well, I'll be honest, I knew like hardly anything about this job. I just come into it, you know, like I'll give it a go, I'll challenge myself. And ever since I've started, I've just learned so much stuff, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I've learned how to use a chainsaw. I've never used a chainsaw before I started this job. So yeah, that was pretty good. And now I'm really confident on chainsaw. I've learned how to four-wheel drive. I've learned how to interact with the community in a better way and you know, maintain tracks and make it a more enjoyable place for them. So today I get the chance to use the tractor and slasher. We use this machine to maintain our fire breaks in the Yarram area. Over the summer I got deployed to the Dargo fires. Um, I went there for seven days and it was a good experience because it was my first time I got to work on a fire line with the Yarram crew. At the moment we think it's around 100 hectares, okay, so it's two on this spur in here where you can see the smoke in the distance coming up, okay. If they, you know, explained things to me and helped me out when I didn't know what I was doing, they always give me a hand and yeah, it was really exciting. Today I am rake hoeing around this tree. The reason I am rake hoeing around the tree is because it has a defect at the base. This eliminates the fire being able to reach the tree and burning inside of the tree. The reason I'm doing this is so I can make it a safer environment for my crewmates. I definitely recommend it. It is very challenging at times, but it's definitely rewarding. To come from high school, straight out of high school, and then come in with basically nothing, and then come out of it with chainsaw skills, pump skills, just navigation and map skills, and just basically general knowledge about bush, it's just, yeah, it's been amazing.